Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video we are going to see another thing about zktime.net software and this time we are going to know how we can uh, recover or reset our uh, lost or uh, forgotten password for this application. So in my example here uh, I lost my uh, password uh, or I don't know even uh, the username with which name I'm uh, I'm going to put here so is it admin or is it another thing no it's not admin as you can see here the, the account doesn't exist so it's uh, the wrong username so I don't know uh, how can I get to this software so the solution for this problem is uh, exploring and opening the software database with uh, this tool, it's called SQLite Database Browser. It's portable. You can go uh, get it from uh, here, from Google. Just Google SQLite or SQLite uh, Browser here. SQLite Browser download. Okay, and you can get it from the official website. You can download. Uh, the version, the install version for uh, your system uh, if it's uh, 32 or 64 bytes or you can just download the portable version like I did so after downloading SQLite browser we are going to install actually here is going just to extract it on my uh, desktop ok finish and here I'm going to open software like this okay this is the software interface and next, th uh, next thing I'm going to do is just opening the database for this uh, for the key time net dot. it's located by default it's located under program files and it starts on a software uh, database or software uh, folder and this is it we can recognize it by a database file this is uh, the file type so it's called zktimenet.db this is the, the default database if you don't, if you don't uh, see it here or you, you can't find it, you can search it by going uh, through the command prompt and type this command. We're going to cd backslash then there slash s and just we're going to uh, search it by typing this command and we, we are going to uh, just wait for the results as you can see we have many results but if you uh, see this thumb catch not, is not uh, the right database or even those have, the database name must have uh, a name like this zkitsign.net or the key time net and as you can see here it's located under the uh, directory uh, program files and the key time dot net folder so we are going to select this file and click open and so the username uh, information, that's, uh, including uh, username and password, is located uh, on this table, this user table. So we are going to browse data, and here in this list, we are going to select the this user table. Okay, as you can see here, we have the username, this is here, username and the password that we uh, that are stored uh, for your uh, software you can go and just you can reset it by change it like i'm going to set admin for my 
two, three. You can even change the username if you want. So here you can just click it. So here I can type a new name or you know, a new username or even I can put my first name like this and click apply to register it. Finally just close this uh, database okay and save the, these changes don't forget to save it if you don't uh, save the these changes uh, nothing will uh, going to work okay and after that i can just open my software again and here we can i can use my username and password i just created inside the, the database and click login and here we go we can open it again and here we go we can open again our software with the new username and password i hope you find this video useful for you and if you like to see more videos just subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and thank you for watching